it's Tuesday about... I won't actually tell you the real time. 15.06. I'm tired. I could easily go to bed. I know I'm on my bed. I could easily lie down. Really, I could just lie down and go to sleep. I am exhausted. <sighs> so, so tired. I've only been sat here about 15, 20 minutes maximum. I doubt it's even 20 minutes. Just got changed into something comfy. I've got a long sleeve t shirt on. And these, I absolutely love these. They were like this when I got them. They were like bubbled or bubble dished. It's like they're not as soft as they were when I got them, but this is what I've got on. Because I want to be super comfy. I don't know what you can see. You probably see about 10 chins because I'm leaning forward now. I went to work today. I was actually going to film when I left work. I was going to put this on my dash and like talk for a few minutes and I've totally forgot because I put my bag in the boot and went straight to the shop to pick up some lunch and come, well I dropped some off for my dad and then I came home. Well I chatted with my dad for a bit and then I came home. I didn't think I was going to go to work today and I'd made plans. I'd like I went to see my doctor yesterday, I don't know if I've filmed since then, I went to see my doctor, we had a really long chat for about 25-30 minutes and because we've not seen each other for a month and normally I see my doctor every two weeks but I went away and then she went away and it's been a month so we had a lot to catch up on and um, we always like, I tell my doctor all sorts of things and we do have some really really good chats and some of the conversations we've had have helped me a lot. Um, some haven't not in a bad way I just mean you know it's, they're good at giving advice and things and she is And but until you've been in that situation and felt that way that person feels sometimes you think they can do things that they can't and I do try and do a lot of things that she tells me to do and I have taken a lot of advice but there's a couple of things where I've not took the advice not that I've ignored it's just you know I were able to do a couple of things but we always have really good chats and we had a really really good one yesterday and she doesn't write everything down she doesn't write a lot down I'll be honest because you know it's personal what I'm talking about and she doesn't really need to write that much down just about physical health really like if I, I did go for a couple of physical things and the, like I did talk about the illness that I've got that you know could potentially kill me at some point so that's the sort of thing she does write down but she didn't really write anything down well put it in the computer they don't write now these days so yeah that's what we we just had the longest conversation about so much yeah. Ow! I didn't realise the wall was that close. Ooh, I've already got a headache. I think it's a tiredness headache. Tiredness and a little bit stress. So, I can't remember what I filmed last on here. But, obviously I didn't go to work yesterday. And I literally thought they wouldn't have me in today. Or Friday. Or next week. That's basically what the conclusion I came to. So I told my doctor and like, she suggested things I could do because I said yesterday I hated being at home. I know I filmed a clip when I'd come home and I was like stressed because there was a delivery due. But, oh god. I said I hated being at home and like I'd kind of got into a routine. I know I had a month off and I easily got out of the routine in that month. It was easy for me but... Yesterday I was I almost went stir crazy in a space of a couple of hours so I went to the shop earlier than I would have done normally and then I stayed out for a while and I said to my doctor I hated being at home. I said obviously I've got into a routine of being out the house in the morning four days a week and I said I don't want to fall out of that routine because I know I could easily do it like when I had a month off sick. I found it so easy especially at the beginning because I was sick but by the third week I started to get a bit stir crazy. And I said, obviously, I've gotten used to going out. I don't want to get myself back into the routine where I don't go out and I feel down all the time. And she, 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 she there, I can't even speak. Um, uh, what is wrong with me? Oh, 
that I do certain things today or well during my time off because I said you know she said think of it as like a break I mean it's not a break because I need the money but I said yeah I said I've just come back off a break and I said coming back to reality was hard and be coming back to my life because I had it pretty easy when I was away obviously I was still stressed out and my friend said and did a few things that stressed me out and work stressed me out and a couple of things stressed me out but for the most part I was more relaxed than I've been in months and months and months so the reality of coming back was hard and then I had a quite a good week and then it all started again <sighs> on Monday the bullying and stuff and so when I went I didn't ask her on Tuesday it was a relief and then I said to my doctor, she what they won't have me in for the next two weeks until they need me the final week of the month. So of course I got a message at seven thirty last night after I planned my morning and early afternoon and you know, I weren't gonna be in. I get a text on her telling me to go in. So I went in and um I didn't stop. Like the other two stopped numerous times, I didn't stop. Like I worked and worked and worked and worked. And I was so fed up when I finished because of what I was doing. And it not because I was working, because I don't mind working, it was what I was having to do. It was so, like, for me, that I was just glad to finish and I walked out and I literally was meant to film. was so stressed out when I got lunch, went and saw my dad came home. So, yeah. And, you know, I'm not going to get into the what's stressing me out and what the problem is at the moment because you know I have to remain professional to some extent and not talk about it but I will eventually one day talk about it but my even my doctor's like you can't keep yourself in this position that's making you feel this way and I said I know and I promised myself I would never do this and be somewhere that's making me feel this way or where I dread going to this place I said I hate that I feel this way and you know, she obviously wants me to stop being in this position. And I, I, I told her a couple of things and I said hopefully I won't be, but, you know, it's hard when you need the money. You can't just walk away from something. So, yeah, I'm so tired. And... You know, I could have come home and I could have gone to bed. I'll be honest, that is how tired I am. I could have gone to bed and slept till about 9, 10 o'clock tonight. But then my problem would be I wouldn't sleep tonight. So that's why I always, when you see me film and stuff and I say I've not gone to bed, it's because if I do that, I'll be up all night and then I'll get into a really bad routine. So that's why I always force myself to stay awake. So I'm going to not lie down. <laughs> Because if I lie down, I'll probably lounge around for an hour or two. I'm going to go and put some washing in the washer and maybe put it on. And then I'm going to hoover downstairs, hoover the stairs and do the both floors. I'm going to write two blog posts because I've got up until next Monday, so I'm going to write two more. And I'm going to edit my third Devon vlog because I've edited my second one. And... I do want to do more but I think if I put a massive like myself under a lot of pressure it will make things harder for me. Hoover the house takes about 40 minutes sometimes longer if I start to get under things and behind things that's when it takes longer and I'm going to write two blog posts I don't know what about yet I do have a list somewhere of potential things to write about and edit a video that probably takes about half an hour to an hour and schedule some more vlogs because I don't have time to work on trying to sort this out like getting the clips together Um, I will do a couple of things I'm going to make a gusto box meal as well I think it's lamb and something Dan sack with something <laughs> but I am tired and I don't work Thursday mornings which it's good, I might get to go and do what I was going to do this morning before I then have to go to work in the afternoon. So I'm looking forward to having my morning to myself, but I'm going to make sure if it's not raining that I get out of the house for a couple of hours. Because I just want to 
not always being in the house like I'm more anxious being in the house at the moment so it's like I hate being here now like I don't want to be here and there's lots of reasons why on to some good news for once I found out that my niece is having a baby today and my dad's known for like a month and he's not told me me and my niece have always had a good relationship and I've not seen her for ages because of what's been going on in my life like the last time I saw her was at the beginning of the year at my mum's birthday meal and I've not seen her but we've, we've always had a really good relationship and she's having a baby with someone she's been with me seven years and he's three years younger than her so he's not very old himself but he looks after her I do like I don't want to be horrible or anything but I do think she can do better and I hope he stops smoking weed because you know I wouldn't be impressed with that you know but hopefully he sorts himself out and stops smoking weed and he grows up because he is he is I think he's not ready for a baby but obviously she's let it happen I don't know if it was an accident or planned I would like to hope it was planned but at the same time it's difficult because she could do a lot with her life and she hasn't done so and now she's like having babies it's you know who knows what she's gonna do if anything but I always had a really good relationship with my niece we were so close like when she was very young and she worked for me for a while and stuff so yeah I kind of expected it to be honest I knew it was coming I knew I remember like she was talking about it like a little while ago like he wanted to have a baby but she wasn't ready so I presume it was planned but we'll see but I do think she'll make a good mum I've just not like our family's just like not the closest but I have all the time in the world for my niece I really do so that's a little bit of good news but it's like I know her boyfriend or fiance because they've been engaged for two years I don't think he's ready and I don't think my brother would have been best impressed when he found out she was having a baby because I know he's very protective of her but as long as she's happy and it's what they want and a boyfriend sorts himself out then I'll be happy so I'm going to go I'm going to do a couple of things on my phone because I always need time out after work especially today because it was just so full on and I had to do f stressful things I'm going to have a little bit of time out for myself and that's very important for anyone even if you've only got 10 minutes to have to yourself you, you should have time out if you need it Hi everyone I need to stop saying hi everyone it, it feels like I'm your nurse I'm your nurse it just feels weird it just feels like I don't know weird I'm going to stop saying it I need to stop saying hi everyone hello <laughs> So you might see the change of scene, I don't know, I'm down the park, I must be crazy, I'm going for a walk, don't want to go for a walk, really, to be honest, I don't feel very well and I can't walk very far because of my illness, it sets off the pain, <laughs> I was telling my doctor, she's, oh my god, how many dogs do you have? Five dogs don't believe they're all your dogs because they're all very different dogs she's either got five dogs or she's a serial dog walker I'm going to go for dog walker you can walk my dog if you want that would be a laugh a minute so I'm down the park minus my dog <laughs> would not bring her down here she would murder me I wouldn't be able to keep control of her she'd pull me over she's too strong and there's loads of dogs and she always wants to get to the other dogs and I don't want to let her off the lead because she does embarrassing things like if she sees a dog in the distance she drops down onto her belly like do you know I can't think of the word do you know like I can't think of it but she drops down to her belly and then slowly <laughs> creeps forward <laughs> and then when she gets a certain distance she'll like lift herself up and just run at them like crazy and it's embarrassing, really embarrassing, especially when she drops down onto her belly. 
there's someone heading this way I hope it's no one I know that's the problem look at the size difference between these two dogs that this guy's got like a little tiny one and then a bigger one that dog's so cute Oh, my dog would never let me lift her I don't think I could lift her to be honest but she would never do that that one's like no I'm not getting back in no absolutely not getting back in you're gonna have to come and pick me up <laughs> I love dogs they just do what they want to do that one's like yeah you're gonna have to come and pick me up absolutely not gonna walk over there yeah, I couldn't bring my dog down here at this time with other dogs but I bet there's always dogs down here actually I've been down here and there's been no dogs once I'm not even joking I was walking down the park with someone down the park round the park and this deer shot across the grass into the trees I was like did I just imagine seeing a deer because you know you, you can't like to me I was just thought I was like hallucinating <laughs> Or that it was a dog that looked like a deer. But it turns out it's a deer. 